The third conditional. If I had lived in Brazil, I would have learnt Portuguese. This is a fantastic example and the structure is if I, past perfect, had lived in Brazil, comma, I would have learnt Portuguese. Would have and then the past participle of the verb. So that's the structure and it's used to speak about the opposite of what would have happened. So it's always speaking about the past. So it's an unreal hypothetical scenario in the past. That is the third conditional in a nutshell. And in this video, I'm going to ask myself 20 questions using the third conditional and I'm going to answer them quite quickly. So you can see the structure being used once and again. So, shall we get started? Welcome to English with Lewis. Let's go! Number one, if you had studied harder in school, what career would you have pursued? If I had studied harder in school, I think I would have studied to become a doctor. I'm not very good at science and biology and all of these things, so I never had a chance of becoming a doctor, but uh, being a doctor seems great and it's a very rewarding job. So if I had studied harder and got better marks, I would have studied medicine at uni and I would have become a doctor. Number two, if you had known about the pandemic earlier, what would you have done differently? In my case, uh, if I had known about the pandemic earlier, I would have flown back to England to be with my parents at their house and I would have made videos during the pandemic and I would have studied something during the pandemic to make it as productive and useful as possible because in the end I just played a lot of football manager and wasted my time to a certain point. Number three, what would you have done if you had won the lottery last year? If I had won the lottery last year, I would have travelled. I would have quit my job and I would have travelled to South America and then to Asia and then to Africa and I would have travelled all over the world. So if I had won the lottery last year, I would have travelled for a year. Number four. If you had travelled back in time, what historical event would you have changed? So many options. Um, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is that if I had travelled back in time, I would have travelled to 2001, September the 10th, and I would have warned people that there was going to be a terrorist attack in New York and I would have forced people to leave these office buildings and leave the apartments to evacuate, to avoid so many people dying in 9-11, the Twin Towers. So if I had travelled back in time, I would have travelled to 2001 to prevent the 9-11 tragedy. Number five, how would your life have been different if you had moved to another country five years ago. I have been moving around to different countries, so this doesn't really apply to me, but let's make it up. So if I had traveled to China five years ago, I would have learnt Chinese and I would have eaten lots of traditional Chinese food. So. I would have broadened my horizons and opened up my mind to a completely different country and culture. Number six, if you had met your best friend earlier, how would your life have been different? I don't really have one best friend per se, but let's talk about my girlfriend. If I had met 
my girlfriend earlier, I would have, well, spent more time with her. I would have met her parents earlier. I would have traveled to Spain earlier. I would have improved my Spanish much faster. And who knows, maybe right now I'd be married. Anything could happen. Number seven. What would you have done differently if you had known the outcome of the last election earlier? So the last election in the UK was fairly recently, just a couple of months ago, and uh, the Labour Party, the centre-left party, won the elections. And if I had known this outcome earlier, to be honest, I wouldn't have done anything differently. I wouldn't have changed anything because I don't live in the UK and it really doesn't make any difference to me. But um, yeah, hopefully this government do a good job and the country improves. But on a personal note, I wouldn't have done anything differently. <laughs> Number eight. If you had been born in a different era, what era would you like to have been born in? If I had been born in a different era, I would have liked to have been born in, let's say, the Roman era and the Roman period. Uh, and I would have liked to live in Rome because ancient Rome seems like an amazing place to be, uh, despite some little problems that, of course, we wouldn't last long surviving there nowadays. But just to see what it would have been like if I had been born in a different era, I would have been born in the Roman era. Number nine, how would things have turned out if you had quit your job last year? Well, if I had quit my main job last year, then I would have opened my own academy, I guess, or I would have focused on advertising my own classes. Uh, I haven't quit my job, I'm happy in my job, uh, but if I had quit my job, I would have started advertising my own classes and courses and uh, I would be working as a freelancer. And maybe I will do this in the future. You never know. Anything could happen. Number 10. If you had the chance to redo one day in your life, which would it be and what would you have done differently? This is really difficult. I have no idea. Like, I cannot pinpoint and specify one specific day that I would like to redo and relive. But, um, hmm. So when I was 17 or 18, I had a car crash and I crashed my mum's car. It was a nightmare, but everybody was okay. Nobody got hurt or injured, um, but it could have been a disaster and we could have killed ourselves. I could have killed my friends. Pfft, imagine that. So if I could go back in time and redo one day in my life, I would choose this day. And what I would do differently is that I, I wouldn't have driven so fast and I would have driven much slower. And that way I would have prevented the car crash and, um, my mum's old car would have been okay. We wouldn't have needed to replace it. But yeah, sorry, mum. Number 11, if you had studied something different at university, what would you have studied? Um, I studied languages at university and if I hadn't studied languages, I would have studied physiotherapy. And this was actually an option at the time. I almost studied physiotherapy because I wanted to work for like football clubs and I wanted to use a little bit of my sports knowledge, but I wasn't a good enough footballer. So if I had studied something different at university, to be honest, I wouldn't have gone to university. But if I had gone to university, I would have studied physiotherapy. Number 12. If you had learned another language as a child, how do you think it would have changed your life? If I had learnt Spanish as a child, 
then I would have been fluent in it and I would have maybe met more Spanish speaking friends and I wouldn't have needed to study Spanish at university. So I would have saved a lot of time and energy and maybe I would have gone to university in Spain instead of in Liverpool, in England. Anything could have happened again. Imagine my life right now if I had been born in a bilingual family. That's the dream. Number 13. What do you think would have happened if you had confessed your love to your first crush, your first love? Now, um, at school, I was quite open about uh, flirting with people. And yeah, I had girlfriends when I was at school, of course. So uh, I probably told them how I felt, but if I had confessed my love to uh, my first crush, my first love at school, then hopefully she would have felt the same way and then we would have started going out and maybe we would have been childhood sweethearts and we would have ended up happily ever after, forever and ever. <laughs> but now, in all seriousness, um, I guess it would have been a short-term relationship and then we would have gone in separate ways. That's probably the most common scenario if you are boyfriend and girlfriend at school. Number 14. If you had had the chance to visit any country last year, which country would you have visited? If I had had the chance to visit any country last year, I would have visited uh, Kenya. <laughs> I would have visited Kenya uh, because I'd love to go uh, to see all of the wild animals in the savanna and go to safaris and I've never really been to Africa except Morocco. So uh, it would have been a, a really adventurous trip. And if I had had the opportunity to visit any country last year, I would have visited Kenya. Number 15. How would your life have been different if you had started your current job earlier? My current job is the uh, head of studies and chief product officer at Teachify. Um, and I've been doing this job for six years. Uh, whilst combining it with this content in the last couple of years. Uh, so I'm multitasking and balancing a couple of different things. But if I had started my current job, let's say 10 years ago, then I hope the company would have grown more and the company would have expanded to different countries. And I guess I would have made more money. That would be the hope. But yeah, maybe nothing would have changed. Number 16. If you had listened to your parents' advice more often, um, what would you have avoided? My parents gave me some advice, but not too much. They didn't want to control my life and they allowed me to make my own decisions and follow my own path. Um, but I guess they gave some advice about being careful, about studying, about working hard. Um, but in all honesty, if I had followed my parents' advice more often, I probably wouldn't have changed many things. Like I said, they didn't really control my life and they let me be free and fly like a bird. <laughs> Number 17. What would you have done if you had got lost in a new city? Hmm. Now, if I had got lost in a new city, I would have asked for directions from strangers and people walking in the street. And I would have looked on my phone. But of course, if I didn't have my phone, then I think I would ask people and I would go to uh, like tourist information desks and I would hope that people would help me to find my way and not be lost anymore. 
but I'm quite good at not getting lost. Usually I'm good at knowing which direction to go in. But if I had got lost, I would have asked for help. Number 18. If you had taken better care of your health, how would you have felt? Well, I've always been relatively healthy, um, but of course there are some things that I maybe shouldn't do, that I do, that aren't very, very healthy. You know, uh, drinking, stuff like that. So if I had avoided drinking alcohol, I would have avoided so many hangover days and I would have probably taken advantage of my Sundays much more than I do. Uh, and in terms of health, I'm still a young man. I'm not even 32. So I'd like to think, touch wood, that I'm in good health and I'm fit and healthy. But if I had taken care of my health, I would have stopped drinking. Number 19. If you had invested in anything 10 years ago, what would you have invested in? This one's easy for me. If I had invested in anything 10 years ago, I would have invested in Bitcoin. And I would have invested in so many different cryptocurrencies because I was a bit late to the party in terms of uh, Bitcoin. I invested a small amount during, I think, 2021, yeah, 2021. I bought some Bitcoin just as it was rising to its peak. And since then, it hasn't been that high. So I'm actually uh, losing money with my Bitcoin, but I've still got it. I'm still holding on to it. So if I had invested in anything 10 years ago, I would have invested in Bitcoin when it was worth nothing before it started going up and up and up in value. Finally, number 20, if you had eaten anything last night, what would you have eaten? Uh, this is a basic one that I've just made up uh, because last night I didn't have dinner. So I'm a bit hungry still. So that being said, if I had eaten anything last night, I would have eaten a pizza. Whew, I love pizza. Everybody loves pizza, don't they? Um, so yeah, I would have ordered a pizza, maybe two pizzas, because I like to pig out and eat a lot. So if I had eaten anything last night, I would have eaten two, three, four, ten different pizzas. Awesome, that's it. There we have it. There we have 20 different conversation questions using the third conditional in English. A lot of these, I've just been making them up on the spot and uh, providing you with so many uh, examples of me speaking slowly, using different vocabulary, different expressions and phrasal verbs whilst going over the third conditional again and again and again. And remember, the third conditional is as follows. If I had won the lottery, I would have bought a house. Easy. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. Ta-ra. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.